All right, so one more example here using the integral test. We'll determine if the series from 1 to infinity of 4 over n times the cube root of n plus 5 over n, whether or not that series is convergent or divergent. So the first thing I'm going to do is just you know write down the associated function. So I'm going to think about the function f of x equals 4. Okay, so we would have x times the cube root of x, so x to the first times x to the one-third. That would give us x to the four-thirds, and then 5 over x. Well, for x values greater than or equal to 1, um, the denominators are continuous, so this will be a continuous function when we add them together. Um, so it's definitely continuous, no problem there. Continuous. Uh, definitely continuous. Um, it's definitely going to be, um, let's see, I guess it would definitely be positive. Because again, the denominators will always be positive. Is it decreasing? Well, to me, it's certainly decreasing because as x increases, the denominators are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, well, I should say, let me take that back. So as x increases, the denominators are getting bigger and larger and larger and larger. Okay, So that makes the overall fractions get smaller and smaller and smaller. That's what I'm trying to say here. So since each individual fraction gets smaller and smaller and smaller, when we add them together, um, this will certainly be decreasing as well. So we can use the integral test. So we've got 4x to the negative 4 thirds plus 5 over x. Again, this would be from 1 up to infinity, which I'll use, uh, we'll plug in with our t. And then we'll just do the limit as t goes to infinity. All right, so I think we can integrate this one without too much trouble. So we've got the limit as t goes to infinity. We would have 4 times x to the, well, let's see, we would have to add 1. So if we add, uh, we'll get, uh, so we'll add uh, 3 over 3, so that'll leave us with negative 1 over 3. And then we'll have to divide by negative 1 over 3, which is the same as multiplying um, by negative 3. And then we also have 5 times the function, uh, the natural logarithm of x. And again, this will be from 1 to t. All right, so we've got the limit as t goes to infinity. So this is going to be negative 12 over x to the 1 -third or equivalently, the cube root of x. But again, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my t. So I have the cube root of t plus 5 times the natural logarithm of t minus, you know, and again, notice when you plug in the lower limits, you're just plugging in 1. You're getting some finite number. So to me, you know, I don't even really care about that value. Um, again, it really just boils down to what happens with this limit um, as to whether the improper integral is convergent or divergent. So as t goes to infinity, um, here the denominator is going to get very, very large. It'll go off to infinity. But that would make the entire, you know, the entire fraction, uh, we've got negative 12 over a big number, that's going to get arbitrarily close to 0. Okay? So the first term is going to go to 0. It's going to be gone. But as t goes to infinity, the natural logarithm of t, this does go off to infinity. So really we've got 0 plus infinity minus some finite number. Well, that's going to equal infinity. Um, it's going to be divergent. So since the improper integral is divergent, so also this original series must be divergent. It must be divergent as well.